I'm just looking forward to the season and that's all. Truly though, she isn't alone in her excitement for this season. Her fans can't wait to see her display her dominance in the sport, especially since she is the... So we start with the women's 60 meter hurdles and a world record holder. Yep, she has the world record in the 100 hurdles outdoors. She set that world record in Eugene when she won the world championship two years ago. So far, she isn't set to disappoint her supporters. As a matter of fact, Toby Amasan just stole the spotlight at the inaugural Jamaica Athletics Invitational a few days ago. Simply put, just a few weeks shy of the Paris Olympics, Nigeria's 100-meter hurdles world record holder is already on a roll. At 27, Amasan has a long list of accolades under her name. In addition to being the 100-meter hurdles world record holder, she is also a one-time world champion, three-time Diamond League final winner, two-time Commonwealth Games winner, four-time All-African Games winner, two-time African champion, and three-time Diamond League trophy winner among others. Any more and you'd be bored hearing about the rest of the list. But you get the point, right? Since childhood, Toby has dreamed of running the world. Born in Ijebuodi Ogun State, she took an early interest in football, but it didn't matter if she tactically passed the ball or dribbled like JJ Okocha, a Nigerian former professional footballer who played as an attacking middle fielder. Instead, she did something better, tirelessly running around. Her football coach recognized her talent and advised her to switch to track. Thankfully, she found a track coach who took her under his wing after. This marked the start of her career in Ijibu Odi. Since coming into national fame in 2013, Amusan has gone from a local champion to a national sensation. What happened then, you may ask? At the time, the first edition of the African Youth Championships, a biannual competition for African athletes aged 15 to 17, kicked off in Wari, Della State. Toby Amasan participated and won the 200-meter silver medal. In the same year, she competed at the World Athletics U18 Championship in Donetsk, Ukraine, but she was disqualified for lane infringement. This setback didn't hold her back, though. She bounced back the following year. By 2014, Toby Amasan had switched to hurdles and debuted at the African Youth Games in Botswana, where she won a silver medal in the 100-meter hurdles. A year later, Toby claimed her first African U-20 gold medal at the African Junior Athletics Championship in Addis Ababa, and her second gold at her debut at the All-African Games in Brazzaville, Congo. From there, she had her highs and lows in the sport, has had her fair share of wins and losses like everybody else. Long story short, she's now a top world runner. Her trajectory has taken an upward flight, and this is a look into her career and growth. One catalyst she is not soon to forget, though, was when she spent 2023 fighting anti-doping charges and suspension. In an Instagram post, the world record hurdler shared that she was charged with an anti-doping rules violation for missing three drug tests in the span of 12 months. In the same post, she announced that she would fight the charges. I am a clean athlete, and I'm regularly, maybe more than usual, tested by the AIU, she wrote. Just so you know, missing three doping tests can result in a two-year ban, though exceptions can be made for different circumstances. Amusan said she was tested within days of her third missed violation and had faith the matter would be resolved in time for her to compete at next month's World Championships. Eventually, she was declared not guilty. She took to Instagram once more to share her elation this time. I'm thrilled to put this behind me, and I look forward to defending my title at next week's World Championships. Then, at the World Championships in Oregon last year, Amusan stunned a still-arriving crowd by setting the world record with a time of 12.12 seconds in the semifinals of the 100-meter hurdles. She came back about 90 minutes later to win the gold medal in 12.06, but that time did not go into the record books because there was too strong a tailwind. Putting all that behind her, she started the 2024 season with a bang. In January, Toby set an African record of 7.77 seconds at the Atsana Indoor Meet in Kazakhstan. One month later, she set a new African record of 7.75 seconds at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston. While her time may have been the Nigerian national record, Toby had to be satisfied with finishing second behind Tia Jones, who clocked at 7.72 and just ahead of Devin Charlton, who crossed the finish line at 7.76. 
Then in early April, Amusan lost to Olympic champion Camacho Quinn and world record holder Devin Charlton at the Xiamen Diamond League. There, Toby finished fifth in the women's 100 meters, clocking in 12.58 seconds. A few days later, Toby was once again in action in the women's 100-meter flat at the Tom Jones Invitational in Florida, where she competed in the second heat of the Olympic development section, clocking a time of 11.26 seconds. She placed fourth in the race, won by 100-meter and 200-meter specialist Abby Steiner, who clocked 11.05 seconds and Kiara Parker in 11.13 seconds. Maya McCoy in third also got the same time as Amusan, but was awarded third place by six hundredths of a second. A few days ago, the Nigerian superstar showed her class at the first staging of the Jamaican Athletics Invitational at the National Stadium to win the women's 100-meter hurdles. Amusan ran a world-leading time of 12.40 seconds at Kingston to win from home favorite and reigning world champion Danielle Williams with 12.46, with USA's Christina Clemens third in 12.54 seconds. In the early stages of the race, Toby trailed behind Danielle and America's Nia Ali. However, she displayed exceptional speed and surged ahead in the final stretch. With that, Amusan has now taken over the world lead from American Tania Marshall, who had run 12.42 seconds in late April. The Jamaican Athletics Invitational is a continental tour silver meet. After the event, the Ogun state-born athlete is the world, commonwealth, and African record holder in the women's 100-meter hurdles. John Ano, the Minister of Sports Development, took to X to congratulate the pace setter over the feat. Take your flowers, Toby Amasan, you stormed to an emphatic win in the women's 100-meter hurdles," he wrote. Toby, you keep making our country proud. Paris Olympics is around the corner. Your performance gives us hope, just like others, that Nigeria is set to break a jinx. Keep soaring. We're proud of you. Yes, Toby Amasan has just become the world's fastest woman in the women's 100-meter hurdles following her incredible performance at the Kingston event. This was a major statement of intent from the Nigerian ahead of the summer's biggest meetings and the 2024 Paris Olympics. With this blistering early season time in Jamaica, Amusan has set out an ominous warning to her rivals that she'll take some stopping in her bid to reclaim her world title. She believes she's in top form as she prepares to defend her title and aims for a podium finish at the Paris 2024 Olympics, scheduled from July 26 to August 11. This is the healthiest I've been. It's a pain-free season compared to other years. I told myself I'm not getting a DQ today, she said, before adding, I'm not the best of starters, but looking at how I executed today, it could have been better, but I'm thankful for the win. From there, Toby is set to face off against Kendra Harrison in a highly anticipated women's 100-meter hurdles at the 2024 Adidas Atlanta City Games on May 28th. What happens there and in her succeeding races remains to be seen. Let's wait and see if she'll be among those who will show up to compete in Paris, just like this athlete is trying to do.